Y'all, we are done with the boxes. We're done with the limits. We are done with all of it. As soon as we convince ourselves, all right? Keep watching to find out what I'm talking about today. Hey y'all, this is Kyla Denanyo, and today we are talking about why you gotta be you. This book was written by Brandon Kyle Goodman, okay? Kyle means chief. My name is Kyla, so I'm the female version of a chief, so we're vibing there. <laughs> the genre of the book is nonfiction. The theme of the book is memoir, self-motivation. So, Brandon. I had no idea, no idea who he was, where his reach was, the importance of it all, right? I saw a man with this cute top on and this skirt. And I was like, okay, what is this about? It's given Spike Lee. And I was like, let's just read it, right? There is a quote on page 57 and I just gotta read it to you, okay? Instead of choosing to fit into a box, I choose to expand into my life. <laughs> expand into my life. And so that's a couple chapters in, right? So you're reading and Brandon talks about how he knew he was gay. It was like when he told his mother, what it was like growing up knowing that he was an other, right? Later on, he talks about being married and what happened when he felt that he was non-binary. How does that change everything when he's this huge advocate for gay black men and now he feels that he's non-binary? Is that going to take away from his story? Is it gonna to add to his story? And so you're reading it and then you're just like, he literally could have wrote that quote at the beginning of every single chapter. I choose to expand into my life. So first of all, what does it mean to expand into your life, okay? Brandon goes on to talk about how, yes, it's a great thing to be a black gay icon. Howsoever, that is still a box. Yes, it's great to be a New Yorker. That's a box. It's great to be a preacher's kid. That's a box. It's great to be married. That's a box. Box, 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 box. Boxes everywhere. And so this is so profound to me because a lot of times we put ourselves in these boxes and we didn't even realize it, right? So I went to law school and my whole thing was, I'm about to be this lawyer, watch out, here I come. And my path went a little bit different. I did end up working in big law, but I was not working as an associate or partner, right? I did not receive, I did not earn my borrow number. But I was still influential. I was still making an impact. I was still making a difference. I was still living a great life. But it took a really long time for me to value that because I did not obtain this. I was still on the outside of the attorney box, okay? And so then I started a podcast. Oh, this is great, this is great. Oh, but I'm so scared because I don't see that many other black women podcasters, definitely not in the legal space. Will it work? Is it a viable option? What's gonna happen? Yeah. I create this box. <laughs> and so then I wanted to get into YouTube. Well, I don't really see that many people talking about what I want to talk about on YouTube that look like me. Well, that means that I need to do it. I need to create it. And so for me to expand to fit my life, oof, right? Like right now my life looks like YouTube videos, podcasts, host and podcast coaching for small businesses. But that's right now. My life could expand to be even more, right? Like y'all, like my life could expand in 2024. It could expand in 2025. It could expand this year. Who knows? And so I love that quote because it's giving you permission to do all of the things. So the things that serve you right now, the things that'll serve you in the future because your life is ever changing, ever growing, and you can always expand to fit your life. Okay, like, I know I'm giving y'all all the repetition, but Brandon got me together and I, I just had to share it with y'all, okay? 